We all know that the v1.6 update for AMS2 will be huge, but you might want to know, oh, what combos should I, do I recommend for you to drive in v1.6 and also prepare for it beforehand so you can actually get good? Because we all know the racing line and everything will roughly be the same. So, today I'm going to give you five car and track combos which I recommend fully for you to start to learn. And the first one could be quite tricky, but also easy. Okay, so the first one we are driving is, as you might see, is Bathurst in a GT3 Gen 2. So I prefer this one in the other car which I've talked about, which will be revealed in, which will be added in V1.6. But, still, you can have fun around it in any car, in my opinion. And why I recommend this is because, obviously, it's a very unique circuit. But also, with this car, it makes it actually handle quite okay. And I just saw that my camera isn't so good, so we have to remove it for this part. But it handles very f nicely around here, but also it's a bit tricky around here, so you need to just try and keep it. And obviously in V1.5, it doesn't feel that hard to actually push the cars around here. Because in uh, the bait, I can tell you, it actually feels quite a bit harder. Because here you just slide constantly, whilst in the beta you have a lot of grip. And driving around here, I think, the, I believe this is the con condo straight or something. I should probably know due to the flag behind me, but this is also quite good for racing too because you can follow through down the down the hill and up it but also overtake on the straight okay so i didn't do such a good lap so maybe we can see if i can do a better one but still this one's very fun now maybe and why I haven't chosen to you drive this in the V8 supercar is because I haven't gotten to terms with it, so it's quite tricky due to its locked rear differential. But yeah, definitely you have a lot more... Oh, I would say you have a lot less understeer now. This car, and oh my god, the... I just tried this combination in the beta like five minutes ago. The cars here, they really move, have a lot less understeer than in the beta. And I would just say that I actually prefer the beta even though it has a lot more understeer because you can, it feels more direct. And after that crash, I think we move on to the next combination. Okay, so here we have one of the mo my favorite ones, actually, which is also which is also one which I am quite fast at, even though we have some issues, and also with the camera again. So let's just switch to this. But why I chose this layout over the modern one is mostly due to, well, I prefer this layout because of, what's it called now, because of the other straight which is on this layout and also just feels more 
fun driving around here. And then here he comes. So you go up here. And then you just push the car through. Like that. And invalidate your lap time also. How fortunate. But I don't know what's the issue with my PC because it, everything used to run very well when I ran video, so we'll have I'll have to check that. But We're going here, and then you can break hard. Down into the first chicane. And with the modern Barcelona layout, I actually don't like it so much. Because I don't know really why, but it gets boring fast in my opinion. But it could be the cars I drive around there too. Because here, this one's actually quite fun. But I definitely feel like I have some... There are some differences in the games. But if we just... Okay, so my camera is still problematic. But if I just restart the session and then go back to here. I can talk to you about why maybe explain... I'm not going to say, oh, I'm, it's because the game is bad and uh, say it's the car, but what I'm going to say is there's a clear difference in how the handling is because in AMS 2 V1.6, especially in the one of the next cars I will show you, that one you can push very hard around, around Silverstone. And it seems like here, you can push them, but they slide, so you don't get to... You don't feel as connected. Like, I can't re I have to be a lot smoother with my inputs, because otherwise... I might lose it, like what nearly happened there. You can see... This car is very direct, but also, yeah, it feels very different in my opinion. But, you saw this layout and I explained it, so let me just head off to another one. So here we have my favorite, my favorite car and track. So you can call this my favorite combo. Why I like these ones are because you can really just push this car. I say that at the same time as I head off into the gravel. But normally you could put. You can push this car very hard around here. And that's what makes it so fun because you have these very sparse corners and you can just drive very fast around them. Oh my god. The difference is unreal in how in how how much less confidence I have in these cars. Yeah, you can I can really feel how the rear just wants to slip away whilst in the beta it doesn't do that. It's impressive how different it actually is. I'm just telling you this because I'm just completely shocked. Because, as you, as you hopefully hear, because you can't see, you can hear my surprise. No, how surprised I am. But also, the brakes are quite a lot different. They feel more powerful and less powerful in some ways. I can show you in. When we are in a certain car after this, that one has really powerful brakes. In this, in this version, 
But then when we go to the beta, that one has very bad brakes until you actually heat them up. You can probably guess what the car is if you have driven a certain game. But you see... It's so... Oh my god, it really wants to slip. I'm barely pushing. Yeah, the rears are heating up quite a bit. But oh my god, there's a clear difference in how they handle. It's a so surprising. And also that. I forgot about that thing, how... How definitely that has been fixed in the beta whilst I've had issues with it quite a bit, I remember. Because it can easily spin. And also in the Formula Ultimate Gen 2. I don't remember it was for the V1.6 beta cycle or the one which is currently public. But for one of them, I had a long, long... Not long, but I had quite a long discussion with Crimson and some other guys about why that happened in a few cars. And what we figured out was that when you go over the curb, it unsettles the tires. It temporarily, like... Heats them up or something, which makes it so you lose grip. What was that? Okay, yeah, what was that? Some weird graphics. Graphics issue. Okay. Funny how I'm just stuck here. But then, let's head off to the second to last one. Or is it the last one? I think it is the last. No, it is the second to last one. Okay, so. Welcome to Monza in the Formula Ultimate. No, Formula V10 Gen 2. And why I chose this car is because it is lovely to drive. And also, it is, that engine is lovely. And also that PC sound will be a bit lower, I believe. But you will obviously still hear it. So if you control your your power output, you won't be forced to hear hear it. Okay, lock the brakes up. But if we just keep on going, then just push. It should be fine. And hopefully the camera keeps up. I have to do some change, some setting changes. Yeah, for a scar it can be also quite fun to drive this, but if we just do one fine, if we just do one and another lap, I will talk to you more about some things. And also there. So it seems like turning is quite different because I'm, my car is getting a lot of understeer it seems through here when driving, which is interesting. But then if we just talk about the power on and putting down the power, why like why this the improvement well it improves quite a bit but also why I chose this track is because yeah it's the temple of speed so you can just so you push a lot and it you really test out your braking performance and how well you can brake. It's also quite tricky even though it's very basic in the terms of the amount of corners it has. Ascari obviously now, nowadays with the new upgrade it's a bit easier but still it's a very fun circuit to drive. You could see that I'm still quite a bit off from the records, but I believe I could, with V1.6 arriving, I will be able to get um, get quite high up. But it's weird how 
bad the turn-in performance is in these cars compared to V1.6. So there, I did a 124.8. And lap time invalidated. So now let's head off to the last one. A very fun one, which I've talked about quite a bit. Welcome to Le Mans, also known as Circuit de la Sauf in the what's it called now the Cadillac Cadillac V series Dotor I believe it is yeah the braking performance is a lot better I say that than head off but I don't know why the camera with the FOV is so... Oh, there it is. But why I like this layout so much is... Obviously because it's Le Mans. It's one of my favorite circuits. It's like... I don't know if it's my second favorite, first favorite. No, favorite is... Silverstein but would say this is like my second favorite. This one is a real good one. Because you can just really push. And it doesn't feel too bad. And also you have these straights so you can chill a bit. Which is something I quite like. It's interesting because with V1.6 they're have updating the thermal dynamics. And I can tell you the brakes the brake performance I have now is like after one two laps of Le Mans. It's really bad at the start. And that's something which I like that Razor did, but I also hate them for it. Because obviously realism and authenticity is what they should try and do but that part is something I really hate about this because how how crap the brakes are at the start so that's something I'm really passionate about but I don't never want to tell them because I don't know what to s <laughs> I don't know how they will take it because I don't want to be seen as hating on them but I can tell you if you want if you want to drive something try something which is hard at the start but then gets a bit easier you should drive these in V1.6 because they really are hard at the start but then get quite a bit easier so let's see if my muscle memory is, is in for these corners. Okay, so I didn't have to really break through there, but... This guy actually has a lot more grip than in V1.6. That's what I've basically been saying this whole time. But it's interesting how fast the car drivers can be for just that first section compared to me. And I'm not trying to say that I'm some magical driver, but it's a lot quite a big the gap between me and the best time is quite a lot bigger through the last section compared to the other sections but I really like how you can just push the limits through there that's very fun and also I can vaguely see my tires actually starting to get a bit overheated which is something you really don't want, but 
down the straight here, remember, you can get quite a lot of speed when the pressures are optimal. Okay, so let's see how slow I am. Okay, 1.6.8. So that's... I don't know how... I don't know what the difference is. But... I think we should be done here. So let me just keep on driving straight and let me just hit the barrier. Oh. And... Everything seems broken. Let's see if we can just switch the camera view. And see, yep. The car does indeed <laughs> look broken. But, what did you think about these combinations? Comment it down below. And also, if you're a beta tester, comment down, down below your favorite suggestions. Now that my camera has gone bad. But now. Okay. So it's still not back, but should be back any second. There. There it's back. So if you are a beta tester, please comment down below any combinations you like. And once you're done there, please hit the like button and also subscribe. My next video will have to I'll have to see how long this V1.6 hype train I can how how long I can keep on keep keep it going before V1.6 comes out or before I run out of ideas. But I have some, a few ideas still that we might help. Some involving mods. But until then, I've been Racing Legend, you've been my amazing face. Thank you for watching. Goodbye!